What can I do? What can anybody do? Your father got himself killed. May he rest in peace. Never giving in an but inch. But if only he'd give Coop a chance instead of... What? Huh? Instead of what? Hating him. Before you even meet him, you hate him. Oh, Rose, Rose, Rose. How can I hate him? I wouldn't know the man if I fell over him. Why should I hate him? Anybody that would look at me, you could kill. In Brooklyn, no boy dares look at me. You'll do the same thing here. Mama, don't let him scare... Hark, he's coming. Hello, Rose. What pretty flowers. Evening, Mrs. Pulaski. I'd like you to meet my brother. You've met before? I think we ran into each other. Hell's Kitchen. Isn't that what they call a waterfront in Brooklyn? Yeah. You ever been to Hell's Kitchen? Yeah, once. You, uh, sure we met before? So you're Rose's brother. I'm pleased to meet you. Not buying no fairy tale, sailor boy. This cookie better have a bundle. Why should I lie to you? He's just another passenger. It's not like he's my brother or something. He cleaned me out of three months' pay in a crap game. So I figured if I can make an honest buck putting a finger on him, I got it coming to me. You better be figuring right, or you're gonna have something else coming, huh? Sure, give a close one. Where do you see my hair cut? Oh, uh, not today, Louie. Hey, you ain't going out in the street in Hell's Kitchen with that mop. Oh, what's wrong with it? Where I come from, we like it long. Hey, are, are you kidding, Bob? No, it helps keep the back of your neck warm. Yeah, but, but you're in Brooklyn, Bob. <laughs> you, you think the West is wild. Makes you think I come from the West. Are you kidding, Buster? Why, why, from your boots to your Stetson, you smell West. Oh, yeah? How's that, better? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know something? You look like a regular guy. Uh, would you not be offended at some free advice? That's just what I need, Louis. some advice. How do I get to 3rd and Pitkin Avenue? 3rd and Pitkin Avenue? 3rd <laughs> and Pitkin Avenue. Well, uh, uh, for you, that way. Go up, tracks, turn left, that's 3rd. Uh, Pitkin's three blocks. Right. Oh, no, a turn left. With that outfit, you turn right. You'd wish you got yourself a haircut. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'll do, Louie. I'll make you a deal. The next time I'm in Hell's Kitchen, I won't let anybody else cut my hair but you. Oh, thanks. 
Thanks, Lou. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah. myself enough time to get lost and found. Hey, this is strange territory for this here country boy. Oh, I'm not completely dressed yet. Don't come in till I tell you to. You can come in now. Oh, just give me a minute, Coop. You ever go calling on a girl yet that's been ready? Been a long time since I took a girl out. Oh, poor Coop. But you began to feel like that boat would never come into port. Hey, Coop. Will you be, be a sweetheart and light the lamp in here for me? Sure. Don't hate that old tub, Coopy. I mean, if, if you hadn't been getting off at just that, that very minute, you and me would never have met. How about that? Well, I guess there's a reason for everything. You live here with a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Why don't you know? I uh, saw her name on a mailbox. Ah. Uh, she out for the evening? Guess so. Oh, she's a real door. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't hardly keep track of her. Hey, you got time, you'll meet her. You didn't mean it when you when you told me you'd only be in, in Brooklyn a couple of days, did you? Not even a couple of days. Tonight. And I've had Brooklyn. Maybe, honey, Brooklyn will have had you. <laughs> Where's the fire? Well, in me, I guess. I got a chance to work on a wagon train, if I don't let any grass grow under my feet. Where does it go, this train? Out west. West of what? I think your girlfriend's coming back. Oh? Who are you? Who are you? What are you, some kind of a smart guy? You better save your bread. You're gonna need it for explanations. Polly! Oh, my husband! Why, I ought to kill you both for this. Uh, you better put that away, mister, before somebody gets hurt. What do you think? You're just gonna walk out of here, huh? Hello, goodbye. That's my wife I caught you with. Come on, who do you think you're kidding with that routine? What do you take me for? A dead pigeon, unless you start talking. There ain't no law that'll blame me for shooting a wife stealer, you know. All I did was save the little lady from a fate worse than death. That's just what's gonna happen to you, unless you start shelling out. If you're looking for a payoff, you're making a mistake. You're picking a bear tree. Oh, listen, mister. I'm burning up. It's gonna take hard cash to cool me off, you understand? Unless you want to get out of here feet first, you better start digging. What makes you think I got off the boat with a bundle? Come on, country boy, you're in a big city now. We know all the angles. You got a bundle. Dig it out. Well, I'm uh, sorry to disappoint you, but you framed the wrong pigeon. Go on, look for yourself. shame. And me with just one night in Brooklyn. Hey!
for me, boys. Hold it! Now, this one is gonna be my pleasure. Well, what do you need, a gilded invitation? The shoes, the shoes, try the shoes. entertaining this joker from out of time. You know, he's had a little too much to drink. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, fellas, uh, you're not gonna be able to wake him up. No point in trying. Why don't you just uh, drag him over to the bucks of bats and let him sweat it out, huh? <laughs> so long, Harry. <laughs> he can't even hear. Swell guy. Ah, how you been, McGon? How's the family? Any new ones lately? <laughs> Tough enough feeding the ones I got. Yeah. You know how it is. It's rough on a cop's salary. Sam, you always been on the up and up with me. I want to give you a little tip. You want more cabbage? You know that witness that disappeared and he had to throw the charges against you and the boys out? Uh, how much you angling for, McGowan? He turned up today. You don't say. Yeah, in the East River. Drowned. How do you like that? With trolley cable wrapped around his legs. Here, McGowan, that ought to buy some more spinach for your kids. Huh? Sam, the DA says he's going to nail you to the cross this time. Yeah? How? Oh. The mackerel they fished out of the river had a safety deposit key in his shoe. He hung you with that letter he left in the bank. Now, that's all right, Sam. You've always been more than fair with me. I just wish all the other boys in Brooklyn would play the same game on the up and up. Make my job a lot easier. Thanks, man. You're all right. For a cop. Hello, Mamichka. My son has had a hard day. No, I'm all right. I get your food. Where's Rose? In your room, crying. What's she got to cry about? Come, sit down. Don't let your soup get cold. What's the matter with her anyway? Every time you look at her, she's crying about something. She doesn't like the neighborhood. Well, I don't like it neither. Balling isn't going to make it smell no better. It's not the smell that is bothering her. Sit down. Your soup is getting cold. Mm. Mm. Sam, what's the matter? I told you I wasn't hungry. You got a toothache. No, I, I fell down a flight of stairs. Let me see. Oh, my, it's nothing. Nothing? You are so hurt that you can't eat, and you say it's nothing? Oh, Mom, leave me alone, please, would you? Tell Rose to come out. You lie down. I'll get you some snuff. Hold it in your mouth, and it will take away the pain. Go, lie down. Your father used to say a toothache was worth it. Mom, I don't feel like lying down. <laughs> 
I can see the swelling. How did you hit the side of your face? Oh, Mom, please, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? To a mother, you don't say, what difference does it make? Here, take a mouthful. Don't swallow it. Mm. They did soak in good. Mm. 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 your room? No. What do you want? Rose, come. Sam isn't feeling so good. Mom, let me handle this, huh? Maybe you shouldn't talk. Here, take a mouthful and let it soak for longer. You look like you're getting ready to jump. I might as well. Sure. Might as well. You got it so tough. What's the matter, Rose? Don't you know? No, I don't. You're gonna tell me? If you don't know already, how can I tell you? You don't like it here. So I don't like it no more than you do. Then why do you keep us here? Keep you here? <laughs> what is this, some kind of a prison? Mom likes it here. She's got her friends here. And you've got yours. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. Rose? Are you ashamed to be Sam Pulaski's sister? Yes. I'm ashamed to be the sister of a gang leader. Gang leader? Where you, what kind of a gang leader? Sam, there's nobody in Brooklyn who doesn't know who you are, what you are. What do you think, I like this kind of work? I do what I do for you and Mom. If Mom ever found out, it would kill her. She ain't gonna find out unless you tell her. So you just keep your mouth shut. Sooner or later, the police will catch you. Uh, they couldn't catch themselves stealing apples off of push carts. Sam, why do you do these things? What things? What things? You think I'm the only one? No, but I don't love all the other gutter rats. Are you calling me a gutter rat? That's what you are, Sam. Listen, I don't need you to tell me what I am. I know what I am. I grew up in the gutter. They taught me good. What do you expect? You want to eat, don't you? No. Rose, what do you want from me? You're smart, Sam. You could get a job. What? In some factory earning 10, 12 bucks a week? We could live on it. Other people do. Rose, we're not other people. Sam, what are you going to do when Mom finds out? She ain't going to find out. She doesn't care about me the way she feels toward you. Oh, Rose, what do you expect me to do? You could at least try to find another kind of work. Oh, can't you see? It's too late. It's too late. What can I do? Try what? Do what? You're going to try, Sam. Or else I go into the street, too. Hey, come on in. Hi. Hi. Say, I hope this is important. I had a very urgent meeting with a friendly acquaintance. Where's Muscles? I dropped by his joint before I dug up Jay-Z here. His old man said he was out on some collections. At this hour, what's he trying to do? Get himself a reputation? You leave wait for him? Sure. What do you take me for? <sighs> Should I tell him, boss? <laughs> hey, uh, Polly Ann, why don't you wrestle something up for the boys to keep them from getting into trouble until Muscles comes, huh? Okay. Hey, Sugar Pie, you know you can scramble for me, huh? What I got to say, I want to say only once. Troubles, boss? Yeah, it's Rubbles. How do you like that? That's the third time that guzzler's drawn to an inside straight and got it. Check that. Muscles? Who Who are you collecting from at this hour? Who said I was working? Your old man. Are you kidding? 
Hey, his half empty jug makes more sense than he does. All right, you think I got you here for a social? Sit, sit, sit. You guys remember a sight and witness you all decided had to be dumped into the river? Which one of you knuckleheads tied the chain to that trolley wheel? Are you muscle bound between the ears? Didn't you never learn how to tie a knot? We chain it ain't so easy, boss. For you, it'd be tough with shoelaces. What'd you leave that key on him for? I'm sure you took everything else. Why not the key? What I need a key for? Besides, I don't know if Muscles is gonna make such a lousy knot. He floated up. He floated up. We're bankrupt, you muscle head. You understand that? We closed the shop. One mistake, we're out of business. That bad? The key was to a safe deposit box. The little piece of paper that busybody left for the DA can hang me. How about us? How about us? You deserve to hang. You deserve to swing all three. It's too good for you. You should be boiled in oil. How many times do I have to tell you that killing is only used as a last resort? It is a too costly way of solving a business problem. But, boss... Don't give me no butts! This whole mess started when you took it on yourselves to eliminate a customer. Now I ask you, is it worth it? One mistake, boss. Anybody's entitled to one mistake. Not when my life is on the line. You're not entitled to nothing. Hey, we did it. I mean, you didn't do nothing. I mean, who's, who is going to pin you with a bum rap like that? The law, you musclehead, that's all. The law says I'm as guilty as you. How do you like that? You call that fair? Lousy law. What can we do, boss? There must be some way we can square ourselves with you. Boss, maybe we ought to lay him out of town. There's no maybes about it. We're going, all of us. Where are we going, Sam? You're not going anywhere, baby. Taking you along, it'll be like hanging out a flag. Thanks. And just what do you expect me to do? You mind your own business, understand? Sure, why not? There's always somebody around to take care of a poor little working girl. Just don't expect me to sit around waiting for you, if you don't mind. I don't expect you to do anything except keep your mouth shut. Sure, why not? Who have I got to lose? Hey, boss, how about Chicago? I got a cousin there has got all the best connections. No cities. No cities? I don't want to go anywhere where they can put the finger on us. No cities? Boss, you ain't thinking of the country. What's wrong with the country? Boss, you know I get hay fever. In the country, I'd be boiling like a baby all the time. But you sure can't stay here, that's all. But the country would be worse than hand. Have a heart, Sam. All right, Pocky, take a cargo ship. Go in any place, that's all. Just sign on as a deckhand. I can't even ride the Hoboken Ferry without getting seasick. Seasick or hay fever, make up your mind right now. There ain't nothing worse than crying and not being able to breathe. I'll go by boat. Not being able to face food is worse. Hey, uh, boss, where we, uh... Going in the country. 
West. All the way. West. We're in the wrong business. You guys are getting away with murder. Well, that dough you can load my wagon with that junk you pawned off on me. I'll be back in an hour. Make sure it's ready. I think so. I can talk about it forever. Often we're out of flour, sugar. Sometimes we run out of water. Do you believe that? Out there in the country like that, running out of water? Awfully. Yes, sir. I hope you fellas never have to go through a deal like that. You know what we had to do? You starved to death. <laughs> No, not this time we didn't. Nobody starves with old Charlie on the wagon, Grant. I cooked up all the saddles, leather, everything we had. <laughs> Charlie, you'll have to admit it was pretty rough on the feet to say nothing about the stomachs. Huh? The stomach? <laughs> <laughs> this secret recipe, I'll tell you about it sometime. I call it uh, saddle soup. <laughs> yeah, saddle soup. You know, Charles, sometimes I think you spice your cooking with your jokes. What's wrong with that? I've never seen you turn down any ideas. Why don't you tell these two something you make that? <laughs> First, you got to get the bird in that one, you know that. Any kind of bird will do. You know, you get the bird, you know. Charlie. You have any trouble? Nah, what's the sign enough? You know what you signed for? I told you to read it. Well, what for? Oh, come on I hope you didn't give your right names. Of course not. What do you take me for anyway, boss? Don't call me boss. I told you, once we get out of Brooklyn, you're nothing but an acquaintance. Can't you get it through your thick skull? Sure. Uh, an acquaintance? Hey, hey, you, you, you didn't forget, did you, boss? I mean, Sam, about the rig. We gotta have a rig like everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough traveling on your stomach. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you, you know, that, that, that joker in there, <laughs> he's a cook, see? <laughs> no, I don't see. Hey, go on over to the general store, tell that crook to give you the same junk that he pawned off on me. Hey, if he's a crook, Sam, why do you deal with him? Why do I deal with him? Because he's the only supply store in town. That's why I deal with him. Oh. Yeah, I bet he's cutting the wagon train master in his take, huh? Oh, sure. Everybody, everybody's got a hand in. Though it costs to go west these days. We gotta go to wake. The guy that said, go west, young man, go west, should have been hung. He's probably got a hunk of the action, too. What do you got in mind, Sam? What have I got in mind? If the wagon train was going through Brooklyn, I'd have something in mind. Who knows what these jokers worry about enough to pay off? Indians. Very good. Great idea. Then if they don't pay off, we have our tribe raid them, right? Ooh, you dumb bunny. All we need is angle. If these guys are dumb enough to buy insurance against the weather. I saw that fellow coming through the doors. There wasn't anything else I could do. Well, I'm just fine. My mom and I want to thank you. I'm sorry I was so clumsy, ma'am. I just hope I didn't hurt them. Rose. Miss Rose Pulaski. And this is my mother. Coop, ma'am. Cooper Smith. Your town have things like this going on all the time? Oh, th this isn't my town. I'm just passing through on this wagon train. Oh, we're going on this wagon train. You are? 
I mean, uh, I hope you don't think I go shuffling girls around. Oh, no. I just hope that some way we can show you how much we thank you for... Well, it sounds silly, but you did save us. If you'd like, I'll take you wherever you're going. You know, it's kind of dangerous around here. Everybody's having a celebration, you know, sort of a last fling. That's very kind of you. We're just going to the church. Mama's more upset about leaving the church behind than her friends in Brooklyn. You're from Brooklyn? You've been to Brooklyn? Well, sort of. I just passed through once. Your father got business out west? My father is dead. My brother's taking us to San Francisco. Your brother, huh? You looking forward to meeting him? Yeah, we ran into each other. But I don't think we can honestly say we really met, can we? I understand I, uh... I owe you thanks for what you did for my mother and sister. You don't owe me a thing. Come, sit down. You eat, you talk, you become friends. Everybody needs friends. Mr. Smith is the first man to ever bring me flowers. Yeah, they tell me the men out here are really something. Tell me something, Mr. Smith. You can call me Coop. Sure, why not? You can call me Sam. <laughs> Tell me something, Coop. Is it uh, all true what I heard about you Westerners? That depends on what you've heard. Well, you know, like that stuff in the books, uh, the code of the West and all that junk. That's about as true as... But we hear they consider the rules of the game in the big city. You mean honor among thieves? Boy, if the code of the West is anything like that, you ain't got nothing. We got our share of rotten apples. Everybody has. The way I figure it, people are people, east or west. You can count on most men not to shoot you in the back. Yeah, well, maybe you know what you're talking about out here in the West, but... Tell you the truth, where I come from, where I was born and raised, you learn early in the game you can't trust nobody when it comes to two things. Money and women. Love and war, you know what I mean? Ah, uh, take my word for it, Coop. The gutters where I was brought up, you learn you can't trust nobody. That's why I'm going west. Out west, they'll treat you like you treat them. That's what I heard. And that's all I want, so help me. Nothing more than like the good book says. You believe in the Bible, you know what I mean. You mean like uh, turning the other cheek? Something like that. If a man gives me his word, I'll give him mine. That's all I wanted to hear. From now on, I tell you, you can count on me like a brother, if you know what I mean. The same hand that holds honor also holds a gun, if you know what I mean. Eat, and God bless you. John J. Burroughs, you sound like the type of man that worries about the future of his wife and children. Well, what business is that of yours? It just so happens, my friend, that that is our business. You see, we are in a position to offer you peace of mind and protection at a price you cannot afford to turn down. Well, Peace of mind? Protection? <laughs> Against what? Against what? My good man, do you know how many things could happen with you? Well, look, I'm not sure what you gentlemen are selling, but uh, I'm just not, not interested. Good night to you. John. John, how do you expect to feed a family if, say, for instance, you got a, a broken arm? Or... 
And maybe two broken ankles, huh? John, how are you gonna feel if just because you're as stubborn as a jackass, you wake up all of a sudden and find you got no roof over your head? Do you believe this? Hmm? For a few pennies a day, he's gonna stand by and watch his whole future go up in smoke. Hey. Sure is a good cook. I'm so stuffed I can hardly move. Do you want to go back? No, I like to walk. Don't you? Oh, yes. In Brooklyn, I used to go walking in Prospect Park whenever I could. Whenever you could? My brother doesn't exactly approve of my being on the street. Prospect Park isn't exactly the street, is it? No, not quite. You sure must have passed through Brooklyn in a hurry. Why, did I miss something? Well, I don't know. Just how much did you see and do? Enough. Enough? Enough to have had enough. Where did you meet my brother before tonight? No, we never really met, not exactly. We sort of ran into each other. At least I think it was him. What does your brother do for a living? Uh, well, he, um, operates businesses. He's a businessman. Well, maybe I ran into him on one of his businesses. What are they? Well, it's hard to explain. Don't you know what he does? No, not exactly. What do you mean, not exactly? Well, Sam has had to make money ever since he was 12. Somehow he did. But all he ever told us was, you go into the street, if you're not afraid to dirty your hands, you can dig up enough to feed your family. And that's all you know? About what he did, not what it did to him. Things will be different out west. He'll have a chance for a clean slate. Do you think so? Do you really think he can change? You heard what he said. He gave me his word and we shook on it. Coop, Sam has never let me have a boyfriend. He always scares away anybody that dares to look at me. He's not scaring me away. Didn't you see the way he looked at you when you asked to take me for a walk? Now, brothers sometimes act like fathers. They know men, and they just naturally want to protect their sisters. Coop, I've never known anyone like you. And I've never known anyone like you. Take a nice walk. You had to make it easy for him. You had to put her right in his hands like she was... Sam, your sister is your sister. It is not natural for you to carry on as though she were your wife. I take care of my mother and my sister. That ain't natural. What's the matter with you, Mom? You living in some kind of a world of your own? You don't know what men are. You think all girls are like Rose? I think if my son had a father, he would take off his belt and teach him not to yell at his mother. Oh, uh, what's that you arguing with you? I, I do just as well to go talk to this wagon. <laughs> Yeah. 
Eat, Coop. You can't live on love. Here. Huh? Eat some of them pork and beans. Get them under your belt. Why? Why? Love might do a lot of things for people, but I never heard of it taking the place of pork and beans. <laughs> That's pretty good, Charlie. What? Poet and don't know it. Him a poet. He's stuck with that love bug. That's what happened to him. You think so? I think so. I know so. These pork and beans will get his mind off in the itch. <laughs> they do. I'm going to patent them. Here, Coop. Try them. Come on. I ain't hungry, Charlie. Here I am with a fortune in my hands, and he won't swallow it. What is that flavor you put in these beans? That spicy flavor you mean? Mm. That's my secret recipe. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hale, could I have a minute of your time? Why, well, certainly, Mr. Burroughs. What's on your mind? Well, it's uh, sort of... Well, I've had enough pork and beans for one sitting. The walk would do me good. Come on. Why'd you wait this long before you came to me? Well, to tell you the truth, if I hadn't run out of money, I wouldn't be here now. Running scared, huh? Yeah, I sure am. Well, it's not for myself, it's the wife. The kids. You must have known you'd had to face up to them sometime. He sucked me in like a rattlesnake getting himself a toad. They looked me straight in the eye and swore that a dollar a week paid for my insurance. Insurance, my eye. Theirs is the second oldest profession in the world. And, and they double the fee every week. I can't come up with eight dollars in silver this week. When are you expecting them around to collect? Tonight. How many people have they sold this insurance to? I, I don't know. Kind of ashamed to talk about it. I told my wife, and she made me come and tell you. All right, come on. What are you gonna do? Skin a couple of skunks. Oh. It don't bother you none, huh? I don't even hear him. Yeah, how, how can you not hear nothing when it's driving me out of my head? I, I can't even hear myself think. You keep sucking up that booze, you're gonna pickle your brains. Hey, hey, crickets can't be making all of this noise. You ever see a cricket? Hmm. About this big. They rub their legs together, that's what you hear. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna kill every one of those two-legged things that fit I gotta kill them all. That's what I gotta do to get a quieter on here. It's... Muscles, there ain't that many bullets in the world. Then I'll cut them. I'll cut their legs off. Not doing business hours. But, Jay-Z, the noise is murdering me. All right, already. OK. After we make the collections, you can clobber crickets until you scramble your brains. Mr. Brownsville? That's you, Muscles. And who are you? Uh, Red Bank. I think that's the name I signed up with. Uh, what do you want? These the one? Before sunup tomorrow morning, you two get your wagon and get off his train. Why? What do we do? Don't argue with me. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. If you two aren't off his train by the time we roll tomorrow morning, I'll make you wish you'd never crossed the Hudson River. You mean you're going to leave us out here in the middle of nowhere? Uh, ain't you got no feelings? There's a town just north of here. I should let you get lost and starve to death. You deserve nothing better. Hey, you're gonna be sorry when... When we what? Uh, when you see our starving bleached bones out there in the sun. You starve? <laughs> Buzzards will eat anything. I should have took the boat with Parky. You know, I think we have a problem here. Evening, Mrs. Pulaski. Good evening. Rose! Evening, Coop. I'll be right out. Rose. 
You're gonna stop seeing him if I have to. What? If you have to what? I don't understand you. What is a girl like you seeing him anyway? Sam, we've been over this again and again. You don't understand me. I don't understand you. I'm a woman, Sam. A full-grown woman. You can't control the way I feel toward a man. You can't stop me. You can't threaten me. All you'll do is destroy your sister's love. Is that what you want, Sam? All I've done for you... You and Mom? You know what I've done for you. I'm afraid I do. But you did it, Sam. You never asked us. Whatever you did, you did because you wanted, not because we needed or asked of you. Stop saying them, Rose. I can't. For you, Sam, I'd do anything. But I can't give up Coop. I love him with all that's me. Don't ask me to give up what I feel. I only hope that someday you'll love a woman the way I love him. Say, Mom, you know if Sam Pulaski lives around here, one of these wagons or something? Yeah, we get something important to discuss with him. Yeah. Sam, there are two men here. They say they have to talk to you. I'm not feeling so good. Tell them to come back tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pulaski, uh, uh, this is important. It's business. You understand? What can be so important? My son will see you like he said tomorrow. Now look, Mom, tomorrow will be too late already. This better be important. I excuse me. What do I have to do to get something through those thick skulls of yours? I told you, you don't know me. Don't come near me. Sam, that joker Coop Smith has passed us at least a dozen times. He thinks we're a couple of farmers. To him, like to everybody else, we're nothing but a couple of lousy gold miners. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, well, if he sees us together, he'll know just how we dig for gold. Yeah, I know what you mean. You see, you come in just now? Sam, will you relax? We stayed out of sight until he went off with your sister. Shut up! All right, sit down, sit down. Now, what's so important you had to come see me? So? So this hayseed burrows turns yellow, right, Muscles? Right. After all these years, you got to come to me to ask me what to do? Well, boss, we would have worked them over to convince him, but... But what? But you told us not to get rough, so we did like you said. Anybody got in the huff about taking our protection, we just walked away from them, right, Muscles? Yeah, this is the thanks we get for soft selling. What? What are you getting at? He went crying to the wagon master, boss. What could he tell him? Wait, wait. You didn't wake him over, did you? We never laid a finger on him, Sam. Well, I don't understand. What the... Well, you didn't set no match to the wagon or nothing. What could he tell him? What could he tell Hale? Sold him some insurance. Well, that's what we said. And the way he exploded, you think we busted both his old woman's legs. And what do we do, huh? What do we do? What do you mean he exploded? Well, he yelled at us like, like we were a couple of wet-nosed kids from the gutter. Get lost, he says. Take a walk, take our wagon, head for the hill, starve, he says. For nothing, for nothing. What do you mean, he ordered you off the train? Like we were a couple of criminals. Get out of here before sunup, he says, or else. And we didn't even break nobody's little toe, Sam. Nothing, we did nothing. Hey, Sam, those crickets bother you. Shut up. I 
All right. We got no choice. Before it was just a personal matter, but now... No other way unless I want to dump you guys. Well, Sam, you can't do anything like that after all we've been to each other. No, we would walk through fire for you, Sam. There's one guy that can pull this whole thing down around our heads. But he knows he can put us out of business for good. Hey, just give me the word, Sam. I'll wake him over. He'll never give you another minute's worry. Uh, it's not that easy. He's got us over a barrel. From his territory, we got to play the game his way. He's better at it than we are. What game? We hit him. Nobody will ever know what happened to him. Oh, no. They got to know. Why? Because that's the way it's got to be. So we make it look like an accident. Yeah, an accident. Play the game their way, their rules. Nothing they can do about it. Nothing nobody can do about it. Hey, uh, who is this guy with right such special handling? Cooper Smith. You sure? Who else? But I thought he and your sister... I do the thinking. You understand? I do the thinking. We just don't like you at all. Over 50 wagons paying him insurance. Insurance is blood money, that's what it was. Pay up or we'll break your arm. Pay up or we'll break both your arms. Or maybe a wagon will run over your legs. Every bit of old woman gossip on the train you hear, but for this, your ears are stopped up. I'm paid to protect these people. What do you think you're being paid for? Cool your office, Chris. Paid blackmail money or... Your wagon with everything you own goes up in flames. And they're smart. Who do they swindle? The men who stand up and fight them? Oh, no. It's the men who are afraid because of their families, the weak ones, the ones we're supposed to protect. No, we had no reason to suspect them. From now on, anybody, and I mean anybody, takes any money for anything I want to know about it. Wait till I lay my hands on the boss of this swindle. Mr. Chris Mann's got can't, heart can't stand what you're doing to it. Well, a man's mouth isn't built like the inside of a blast furnace, either. Why didn't you tell me you was still boiling? I had to simmer you down somehow. See, you've cooled off a lot already. Chris, you don't think they were smart enough to operate this con game without a boss, do you? You don't think I'd let them walk away if they were anything more than a couple of boneheaded bouncers, do you? Yeah, that's it, Miss Chris. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you put some of your bean secret in that, too? Now, Mr. Chris, you know I wouldn't do that to you. Always said it. Something hot or cool person off all the time. Oh! You went all this time without setting foot in a church. Won't hurt you if you go just a little bit longer. Anyway, I don't even know if this biker's got a church. What's so important that you should go running around alone? It's dangerous. No, I'll have... Coop go into town with me, huh? That way I'll be safe, no? Then what's to hurt? Rose and me will go with you. Mom, no. Hey, Coop. I, uh, just going over to see you. I thought I might go into town for about an hour or so. What do you say, be a pal, go with me, huh? Look after me, keep me out of trouble. Your business wouldn't be seeing a couple men hail through off the train, would it? We, uh, we'll have enough time to talk about that, huh, on the way? Mr. Smith, is there a church in town? Yeah, there probably is, Mr. Pulaski. Every town has at least one. Then Rose and me could go with you? Mom. I am talking to Mr. Smith. I don't see why there's any reason you can't. Mom. I told you I didn't... Sam, your sister and your mother have a chance to go and spend a few minutes in the church. Are you going to forbid us that?
feel right here, Ma. Sam, it wouldn't hurt you to go to church. Oh, Ma, don't start that again. You do enough praying for the both of us. Here. Put that in a collection box, huh? Wait for me in the saloon, Sam. There's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah, sure. Don't hurry. Do whatever you have to do. I'll be here. Sister coming to town and go to church. Hey, that's how you gonna have to come to town, huh? I told you before, stop trying to think. Muscles, we can do like the boss says. Enough headaches we got. You get a spot? Perfect. Got a hotel room right on the plaza. From there, I could hit him with a brick. Good. You know what you're gonna do? What's to know? You walk out, I walk out. You draw on fire, I draw on fire. There's nothing to it. Miss. No mistakes, you understand? Sam, the way I feel about you. I don't want neither one of you guys getting any ideas on your own. Hey, boss, this time, I do like you say. I promise you. No thinking. You don't miss. Hey, how can I miss? An amateur could have missed from this distance, and I am not an amateur. Now, when I pick up my hand, you get ready, huh? I pull a gun. I pull the trigger. Right. Hey, nothing can go wrong, huh? All right, move, move. Back way. I wasn't thinking. Uh, no questions, huh? What, what can go wrong, boss? All right, tell me again exactly. Step by step. I wait at the bar. He comes in. I walk out, you walk out. No, 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 no. I walk out, then you walk out. I wait at the bar. He comes in. You walk out, then I walk out. You draw on fire. You draw after I draw. I know, boss. I draw after you draw. All right. And? <sighs> Make it look legit. Hmm? Don't overact. Right. Don't get carried away. Okay, keep going. Hey, Shorty, glass of cold milk. The name is Leslie, mister. You want goat's milk? Goat's milk? Yeah, I mean goat. Look, shorty, I come from a farm. You don't get no milk from no tiger. Ain't you got no milk from a Jersey cow? Just goat. And I mean a strong goat. All right, already, you sold me. Ago. Why? See that fat man over there at the bar? Yeah. Would you recognize him? I'm not sure. Is he one of the men Hale threw off the train? See that hat he's wearing? It's got your initials in it. That's one of the men that roughed me up in Hale's kitchen. And he works for you. Leading those people on a train without insurance swindle was your idea. Sam, I told you what had happened. Coop, I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They used to work for me. They don't no more. This whole operation was their own idea. 
Listen, when I first decided to go out west, they begged me to take them along. I should have known better, maybe, but they gave me that word, no shenanigans. So help me. I didn't know what was going on. I haven't even talked to them for weeks until just a couple of minutes ago. That's why I said I wished you was here. What did you do? Huh? What would you do? What would anyone do when he saw all his dreams, all his hopes going up just like that because a couple of no-good rats went back on their word? Took a swing at him? Worse. Worse. I told him when he came out of the bar, I'd be waiting for him. He better draw fast. What do either of you know about gunfighting? Nothing. I suppose because the way you settle things out here in the West is the first thing that came to mind. And that's the way he wants it. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Coop. Uh, if he gets me, I... Counting on you to look after Mom and Rosa. Stick by me. Don't let anybody touch this goat's milk. I'll be back in a minute. After I take care of him, if you want your hat back, you're welcome to try and get it.